today I'm gonna be showing two very smart little adapters. This is a USB to 9 volt adapter. There's a trigger in here that outputs 9 volt in this DC connector and I find that very very useful. And I will test both USB side and the DC side. Goes in here. So I'm gonna build an adapter with this new Wagos. They're new to me because they didn't exist a few years back when I learned about Wago. So let's turn the lights on. So now the light is on and it's still holding a lot of voltage but it's not pulling any amps. We are drawing 0 0.05 amps from the power bank. I wanted to have a higher load and uh, let's connect a higher load. Uh, I have some generic flashlights And that one woke up pretty fast, 8.8 .8 volts. Now we're at least pulling 0 0.1 amps. You will need to average, average this out. And now we're pulling 3 amps and this adapter is down to 7.5, but that's mainly most likely because of the power bank not putting out more than 4.7 so you cannot just blame the adapter and now it died it's not the power bank it's the adapter it doesn't have enough voltage to run this display we will switch to the other outlet which should be able to handle two amps probably give us a better voltage so I will use my wall outlet instead of the power bank I'm just having a 2.1 amp outlet but it's not battery operated so we might get a little better voltage it fluctuates a little so let's try the lamp again almost 9 volts it's dropping a little bit but not much what do we have here? About 0 0.6 and here it's 0 0.3 and on the high mode it doesn't really handle that well. The amps can go through to the light but the voltage is... Uh, so I'm afraid this isn't too good unless you have really small loads less than 0 0.5 amps and it, that your device can handle to operate on 7 or 8 volts and not need 9. So it's a very interesting product but not for high amp usage.